Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to tackle one of the most dangerous forms of knife assault that can occur on the street. I'm referring to the grab and stab. Now this is not just some random act of assault. In fact, it's a very calculated method of attack that seasoned criminals use to swiftly kill their victims. So today we're going to dive deep into understanding this deadly attack and also why these criminals favor it. And most importantly, I'm going to teach you how to effectively defend against it. Let's check it out. Criminals can also use the uh, hold the knife in the rear hand, and there's some uh, strategies and points behind that. If Mike is in a knife defense stance, one of the objectives of a rear hand knife attacker is he will use his front hand to defend against attack. So if Mike throws a punch at me here, you can, he can parry or throw an overhead punch. He can block and he'll use this side of his body to defend, and then he'll counter with this part, the rear hand. Another reason why they'll hold the knife in the rear hand is also because what they'll do with the front hand is they'll rush, almost like a bum's rush to distract this guy, get his hands up, and then drive the blade inside. So again, it's, it's a rushing mechanism. Another one is to attack with. He'll use the front hand to throw a punch to distract, maybe even uh, try to poke the eyes and then drive the blade in. And finally, the one that concerns us the most is he will try to grab with the front hand, control either the wrist, the shirt, spin the guy off balance, and drive him to the kidneys, of course, which will kill. So there is a method behind the madness of a criminal who pulls the knife in the rear hand. When a rear knife hand attacker grabs the wrist, what you want to do is free yourself using the wrist for wrist escape. So what Mike's going to do, he's going to step back and turn the wrist in. He's going to turn the wrist in and bring it to his chest. Again, rear hand knife attacker grabs the wrist, he steps back and turns the wrist in. And this is before I lunge in with the stab. We're just working on a basic release. Okay, you notice that Mike maintains a good knife defense stance, keeps his stomach back. Then when he gets to the foundation of the movement, we're going to grab and we try to stab. Nice and easy. So again, Mike, grab my wrist. The key is, is to turn the palm in, twist the wrist in, and step back. Again, step back. That's the movement. Now sometimes if someone grabs your wrist, you don't have enough time to back out or turn the wrist or do the wrist escape. <clears throat> so what we're going to have to do is, the next step is controlling the knife attack with one hand deeper. So when we grab the wrist, let's say Mike can't back up, there's maybe an obstruction behind him or he just doesn't have the wrist escape <clears throat> in his mind. What he's going to do is he's going to use a one hand knee grip and then he simply places the other hand down on top, controls, and then he pulls to one of the sides and he strikes to the thigh, closest weapon, closest target. Good job, Mike. So again, hands up, grabs the wrist, V groups one hand, brings the top hand down, pulls, and knee strikes. Okay, escape. Good. Okay, engage one hand. Here. Thank you. 